The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. This is the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, coming in, and our guest today at the break will be none other than Lewis Winthorpe the Third, disguised as Richard Anderson. He'll be talking to us, hopefully, if technical gods, uh, uh, you know, catch our number today i i posted the chart uh, <laughs> uh there's a funny story uh, someone just posted it i'd rather have jamie lee curtis on i don't know if you guys know that but when she did that uh scene there in the bedroom where she took off her uh, blouse to show her uh her all uh she got uh, twenty five thousand dollars for that uh and you know she wasn't a super big star at that time she was big but not super big but she got 25 grand for that 30 second sequence uh, whatever that means <laughs> who knows all right i posted a chart uh, of the xlf which is the financial uh etf for financials and you can see here we're making a very large apcd pattern up in here and of course we like apcd patterns and that's what we're watching let's review some of the things that we talked about yesterday because i think it's important Important to pay attention to the first thing we were going to do was talk to mr z yesterday about the situation that he was watching in the coffee market and all we were doing was just taking a look at that double top that we had up there and then we we drew that little downtrend line you see there from the high at the second double top you know saying that it was uh, pointing uh, pointing lower now all all i did today was I just went in and I updated it just to see how coffee was acting to see if it was acting within the realm of what we were expecting it to do. And as you take a look at this, you'll see it did pretty much exactly uh, what it should have done. You know, we had a little bit of a rally yesterday right up to the 61% retracement, and now we started down again. So this pattern is still heading down, and that's really, you know, what we're watching as we as we look at some of these here today. Now, the other one that we were talking about yesterday, because it was very important at the level that it was at, was none other than our good friend Facebook. If we take a look at the chart here on Facebook, again, we take a look at the big ABCD down there at the 78% level. You can see the rally yesterday at uh, 343 came in at the 382 retracement. That was 342.97, and today the stock is down 6%. Now, those are just numbers, folks. We're not looking at you know things that are going on in the news or any of those things. Those things don't really count very much, at least in our book. Now, let's see one that didn't work, but we need to watch it because it gave us a great deal of information. This was the one that we were watching here in the gold market, and this is this, I'm going to try to show you from a technical standpoint why i think it's important you'll notice here that we had a double abcd up there at 1793 so i gave an order to sell at 1793 risking three dollars and fifty cents the reason why the stop was so close was because there were multiple numbers there at 1793 that means if it went more then that three dollar move above that it would tell us that it was actually looking rather bullish now all through the night I had checked it once or twice, but it had not gotten above 1795 during the evening. And then when I woke up this morning, and this was very early this morning, the first thing I saw was the fact that what gold was doing was acting what we would consider extremely mm -hmm. bullish. Let me show you why. This is a uh, this is a hourly chart on gold. Look look how you see the little red box there, folks. That means that gold stayed between 1796 and 1791 for six hours. Now, I, I don't know about you, but uh, if it breaks above there, that, that is flat-out bullish. And uh, that's, uh, 
you know, that's what I, 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 by the time that I saw it and put the red box around it, it had already jumped seven dollars. It was already trading in 1807. So that cat was out of the bag. There was nothing I could do. But use this for, for general purposes, folks. If you see this again, remember it's very important. Remember, when I learned to do this stuff with uh, looking at these st stocks going up and down, I had to use a Western Union ticker tape. I had one for the Board of Trade and one for the Merck. And, this, you know, they had these little, you know, you've seen them in, on the movies and stuff. The little ticker tape comes through and all the prices would be there. And if there was a new high on the day, there would be an H. And if there was a new low on the day, there would be an L. There wasn't any red and green buttons and, you know, telling you exactly what we was doing and showing you the chart pattern. You didn't have any of that. So I had to learn that way and do it all by hand. So if I'm looking at something over a three or four hour period and I see that the high has been X and the low has been Y and hasn't gone anywhere, as soon as it breaks out above that, you know, you have to pay attention because that means the, the battle between the supply and demand folks is over. You know, the demand folks won that battle. You know, so that's why those those areas are very, very important. But, but that's how I had to do that. And and when, when you're learning this, you had to be reading the book Reminiscences of a Stock Operator by Jesse Livermore because he talked about those things when he was doing that in the 30s. I was fortunate enough in 1976 when I went to work for Drexel. They still had the museum in the Chrysler Building on the 35th floor, which was his office with the ladders, with the chalkboards and all that. That stuff that was still there uh, and it stayed there I think until about uh, I think it was about 1979 they finally they finally took it away and stuff I don't know what they did with it but there was an incredible you know history behind that stuff and people would go there and see what it looked like and it was it was really cool but you know you can see pictures of it occasionally if you go on the line and look at it what it looked like but that's how they did that remember they, they would call those in by telephone and then put them on the on the ticker tapes and that's how these stocks were done. Remember, the, the stocks up until they had the SOS bandits come in with the NASDAQ, stocks were trading at a quarter half. In other words, you know, uh, I, let's say uh, Facebook is trading at, say, 323 and a quarter. It was bid at a quarter, offered at a half. So the specialist made a quarter cent. Now the, the, the specialist makes three cents if he's lucky. So that's the big advantage that you have, you know, sitting in front of this computer all day. You don't have to own a seat. You don't have to pay super commissions because commissions are down basically to nothing. All you have to do is correct the mistakes that you make, and you can make this business, you know, something that's profitable. But, you know, back in the old days, and that's not that far away. That was only 50 years ago, 60 years ago. That That's how it all happened. Where are we going to be 60 years from now? We'll have little headsets on that have little uh, things hooked up to our uh, eyeballs that tells us, you know, when, when a stock's making a new high, you can read it right off your eyeball. Uh, I don't know if that'll be the case. We already got Dick Tracy wristwatches. We've already seen that happen. And so who knows? Maybe we'll even have uh, Clark Kent come back with his uh, with his Superman costume and uh, be, uh, you know, won't we won't be bothered by kryptonite. So I'll have to have to wait and see. Hopefully we'll have Rich on at the break today. He's been absolutely swamped this week. And that's what we're uh, paying attention to. If you have any questions, folks, 877 uh, 977 <laughs> You know the number 877-927-6648 You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
the Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and I just wanted to, uh, in fact, one of the things I wanted to talk about today because we were looking at shorter time stuff was the fact that how badly the overall stock market was acting today. Uh, I think I, I posted one for the E-mini showing you the ABCD up there at the high, but the one that has really been acting the worst, of course, has been the NASDAQ. Let me get this up here so you folks can take a look at it. You know, you'll be able to see here that... Uh, uh, we had a big break last night right after the close. We went from 15,485. We dropped 200 handles all the way down. Excuse me, 100 handles. Then we rallied up to the 78%. Now we've given it all back and we're making new lows. Folks, this is extremely bearish t tape action. I mean, it really is. It tells you there's very little buying coming in on some of these things. And that's different than what we've seen before because we've just gone into new high ground. I just posted you the chart that's saying the S&P just made a new high up there at uh, 4550. Uh, we took out that and went to 4551. We've really dropped 18 handles here in in about uh, 15 minutes. So that's not good action. There wasn't much up there. That's related to the open interest because if open interest is not increasing and you don't have new buyers coming in, it leaves a vacuum under the table, and that's why you need to pay uh, very, very close attention to us. Now, I'd like to spend just a, a small bit of time here to talk to you about something. Sorry about my voice, folks. I uh, have a tiny bit of an allergy this morning. Uh, the weather here has turned absolutely beautiful here in Indian summer and uh, here in Tucson. But I want to talk to you uh, about one stock that has been uh, in the news for a very, very long time. And I wanted to give you a little bit of history. Please tell me I haven't lost it. Oh, no, don't tell me I've lost it. Ah, I have not lost it. Let's get it up here and take a look at it. Folks, this is Intel. This is one of the this was the largest chip maker in the world at one time. But here's where we are. As we as we see Intel, look where we were in April of last year. We were making a three drive to a bottom, three drive to a top pattern up there at 68. 
And believe me, 68 was uh, much, much lower than the high we made, uh, you know, back in uh, 2016 in this. So this has been in a downtrend for a considerable amount of time. We actually have a double ABCD pattern up there at 68. But the, the key thing to, to look at here is from the high that we made in April, now, remember, this is getting hit with a lot of bad news off and on, off and on, all through this thing. We come down, we have a huge gap down. Then we have a nice rally that lasts uh, just about six weeks, stops exactly at the 382 retracement of the high from 68 down to the low at 54 to the rally up to 59. Okay, then it breaks down. And what did we do yesterday? We made a beautiful ABCD pattern at the 61% retracement of that high. And today... As you can see, it's down about uh, 20 some percent uh, because the uh, CEO came on and said uh, things are not looking too rosy for the next year. Now, we'll, you know, maybe that's going to be the case or not. The reasoning for this, folks, this is why being a technician instead of a fundamentalist has some advantages because when you see these things you don't have to believe what they're telling you you just have to look at the chart pattern the one thing about a technical analyst is the fact that they can lie to you cheat to you give you misinformation fake news whatever it is but the one thing they can't do to you folks is they can't hide from you so if prices are going higher there's more buyers. If prices are going lower, there's more sellers. Now, let's take this on the other side of the, of the coin. Another one that we've been looking here and have been talking about for quite some time here is the silent, uh, the silent car Tesla. And we want to get it up to, to let you take a look at this because this is a totally different picture. As we mentioned before, there was nothing in this chart of Tesla that said there was any reason to even think a top was coming. Let's just get this. Uh, this is a pretty good example here, too, folks. Let's get this up here so we can see it. Look how Tesla has been acting, folks. Once You see the ABCD pattern we had there at 800? That was a beautiful one, just a little above the 61% retracement. We stay there for seven trading days, and once we get above 18.05, we've got $100 a share. We're, we're, I think we made new highs today. Did we? Yes? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I think we did. Let me see. Well, the old high was uh, oh, 900, and today's high was 910. We made new highs in Tesla today. So once we did that, and we saw a couple of gaps on the way up, we had a huge outside day to the upside yesterday. This market is telling you that, you know, and, and with the rest of the market down, this one's still going up. So you, you want to always sell the weakest and buy the strongest. But there's nothing in this chart that tells you there may be a double top up in here. And uh, uh, Tesla, but you're not going to not going to test it with my money. So uh, that's what it's looking like with Tesla. So I'm showing you this because a lot of you folks are new to technical analysis. And if you look at the chart and if you see prices going down when the news is very, very bullish, that is a tremendously bad indication. That's what we're seeing now in the stock market, making new highs. And look at the NASDAQ. You know, it's down 150 points uh, this morning. And that, that's not that's not good news. Look at the S&P. You know, it's down 20 handles. That's not good news. Breaking into new high ground like that. That that is that's basically what you're doing is letting the tape tell you whether there's going to be a, you know, uh, up or down. When you read Lever, Livermore's book, and I, I mean this sincerely, I have read that book at least 50 times. And in some of those uh, descriptions that he gives about how he was trading and how he was looking at uh, uh, Pennsylvania Railroad, you know, making a new high at, at 101, 101, and it was trading at 99. And he said it was trading at 99, he said, but I could see it trading at 102. And what happened? It turned around and just absolutely massacred him because he didn't pay attention to what the tape was telling him. And, you know, they have several books about this, the tale of the tape and stuff. There's a there's also a uh, a movie with Richard Crenna as the star as uh, Jesse Livermore. I, I think it might be the I don't remember what the name of it was, but uh, I happen to have met Richard Crenna a few times. But it's about Jesse Livermore. If you Google it, I'm sure you could find it. It's probably on Netflix some way. It's a pretty in indication of what his life was, what his life was actually like. Anyway. That's uh, you know that book is a great book. If you don't own that book, folks, you shouldn't be trading because that's the history of what happened during the 20s and 29 and all that stuff, and it, it really gives the mental part of how this is how this works. 
It was one of Mark's favorite books, Mark Douglas's favorite books. Another one that was uh, his favorite was uh, 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 Mackey's, Charles Mackey's, The Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds, about how people get totally wrapped up. And they might be doing that with Bitcoin these days, folks. That's certainly a possibility. But also, when markets go down, they usually go down together. And that might be what's happening with the uh, Bitcoin today. But, you know, it's still a little bit early. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648. And what we'll do is we'll keep a uh, to keep a pretty good eye here. We'll see what's going on. All righty. Now, here we've got moving on here. We've uh, Well, we're really breaking hard now on some of these things. Let's take a quick look at where we are here. Even the, even the bonds are rallying. Boy, that tells you how bad things really are. Holy moly, guacamole. That's going to be really, really interesting. Well, we've broken down about uh, $15 from the 78% level up there in the uh, gold at uh, 1813. We got as high as 1850. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have a caller from Southern California, the home of the Los Angeles Dodgers, going to Atlanta to win the series. Tell me, my friend, what can I do for you today? 
Mike? Yeah, those Dodgers are uh, they keeping us on the edge of our seat, aren't they? <laughs> what can I do for oh, you? Uh, I want you to look at PayPal and and um, they they they've they've entered into a deal with somebody and the stock is rejecting the prices. It's trading yes. down. If if the situation like this happens, how do you look for uh, entry point or some um, some um, some support? Yeah, well, I posted the chart of PayPal here, and last week we had, uh, in fact, it was early October, we had one of our listeners call in because there was a beautiful Gartley pattern down there at uh, 255, and for there we rallied all the way up to 275. That happened to be an exact 382 retracement of the high that we made on July the 26th. It was also a 135 pattern with lower tops with the 50% rally coming in off of September 10th. So, and then you can see the one day reversal yesterday. Yesterday, our day before yesterday was telling you that something was seriously wrong and the today and yesterday is telling you yep it's even more serious than we thought so if we get much below 230 on this uh, you're looking at prices uh, around 150 it looks like possibly uh, in PayPal Wow that's a huge sell-off okay well you know it's and, been and going up it's been going up forever so how about how about Facebook you know um, they've oh. they've got some uh, troubles and they gap down. Yep. You talked about that yes. earlier. The, yes, the price sure. that you called like the 318, would that, yes. that be a good uh, place to look at that? Well, a 318 could be a double bottom, but remember on Facebook, you know, the high that we made yesterday in Facebook you know, was exact, again, just like in PayPal, it was an exact 382 off of the high that we made back on September the 7th. And now, you know, okay. we're trading at 320 something, and I wouldn't touch that at 318 because the ABCD on that takes you to 240. So I, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't touch that either, Mike. Okay, so you just got to watch these things and, uh, and, well, and you, you draw your, uh, yet, your Fibonacci's in there and... Watch to see how long did it take to make a five-day rally at the 382. Well, it took five days and stopped exactly at 382 in Facebook. At 343, it stopped at the exact 382 in PayPal. And so that's that's the only thing you've got going for you. Because, Mike, I can one tell you one thing. You and I are going to be the last two people on this planet that's going to get inside information. I've been in this business 60 years, and the number of times that I've got any information that was good – you can count on my uh, on both of my arms, and I could be a double amputee and still have the correct answer. I've never gotten a tip that worked, ever. Okay, Larry. So, <laughs> so let me ask you the question now. The most important question is: uh, a Dodger's going to get some hits when they get back to Atlanta, or they oh, they, they <laughs> seem to have a good day and a bad day, a good day and a bad day. I I guess we got <laughs> Max Scherzer on the mound, so we yeah. we have something good. Well, it's a two game. It's fast, a, yeah. It's a two-game series, my friend. So you just have to let the trade, you know, the baseball gods decide which way it's going to go. It'll be a bouncing ball, but uh, fortunately, we could see him play at least one more time, and that'll be a lot of fun. Tonight is Boston, and the only two teams that I follow in the majors are Boston Red Sox and the uh, and the LA Dodgers. And I don't know any players anymore. I used to know, we used to live with a bunch of them there in Westlake Village, but you know, my kids are still friends with their kids, but uh, we don't really know any of the players. But it's exciting to watch. And especially when a guy hits, you know, three home runs in one game, he had a chance to hit four home runs in one game. And boy, oh, yeah. even Bay, even Bay Bruce that didn't good. do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Larry. Okay. Well, thank you hey, very much. Th you have a nice thanks for calling. Weekend, you, you bet. And, uh, you bet, I'll talk Mike. To you soon. Please do anytime, my friend. Okay, folks, let's move on here. I think we have Rich Anderson on the line. Rich, are you there? Yeah. Good morning, Larry. How are you? Hey, living the dream, buddy, living the dream. Boy, we're getting volatility out here in spades again. Tell us what you're seeing here in this new cryptocurrency uh, ETF that we got going on. There's so many unanswered questions. You want to tell us what you're hearing about it? Well, I mean, the, 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 it's a new ETF. It's a sec. First of all, I'm not an expert on this at all, but it's a new ETF. It, it came out with the second biggest gains in the last three days of any ETF that's come on board. Um uh -huh. A lot of the players front run, knowing that when the ETF comes out, they're going to have to buy whatever the product is. In this case, it's Bitcoin. And so that runs the price up in front of the ETF coming out. No different than when uh, 
a new stocks are added to the S&P 500, and everybody knows that those new stocks are going to be added on X date. All these different funds need to man, you know, managing uh, billions and billions of dollars need to add those particular stocks, and so there's a run up going into the adding them to a thing. But it's uh, you know it's about limited supply. I think the the most uh, interesting thing is Paul Tudor Jones talking about. I think it was on Wednesday, may have been Thursday, that there's 3.5 trillion dollars of money sloshing around. Of course, the Democrats have a 3.5 trillion dollar bill they'd like to put that would add even more, but maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. It's yet to be seen. But you know, we have inflation, as he's put it, and I agree. We have inflation creators in the uh, Federal Reserve, not inflation fighters. You know, we're adding more money to the system when we need to be sucking it out. And so that's that's running inflation and everything. Used car prices up 37 percent year over year. Um, wow. You know, and wages wages are up. And you know, if, if your kid now getting 15 or 18 dollars at a McDonald's. You know, six months from now, they're not going to be able to tell you, well, we only want to give you 12. That is not transitory. These are not transitory things. And that's Mm -hmm. why you're seeing huge price increases and all kinds of things. And and from the agricultural standpoint, the farmers are looking at, you know, what am I going to plant next year? Well, the fertilizer price is up 37%. Well, that's that's a pretty hefty increase. And so right now... um, I think it was University of Illinois economists were projecting the returns, and they figured to cover the cost that the farmers are looking at. You know, corn prices are 50 cents too low. Well, wow. you know, if, if if you can't make money on corn, you'll plant beans, and the bean profitability is much greater because, you know, there's less input costs. But, you know, in the southeast, if I'm a farmer, I'm going to plant cotton or beans. And I don't know if you looked at a cotton chart lately, but it went vertical. And, yeah. you know, so the cotton will buy acres from beans, beans will buy acres from corn. And, oh, by the way, you know, uh, our president's uh, green policy, which would be using bean oil for biodiesel. And bean oil, by the way, uh, I believe has had the highest close on the spot market since 1998. That sounds like quite uh. a bit to me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> crush margins are the highest in uh, since July of 2018 at $1.89. For those of you that that don't know, a um, soybean bushel is approximately 60 pounds. When you crush it, you create soybean meal and oil. And the oil is approximately 11.8 pounds, and the, the soybean meal is about 48 pounds. Well, I mean, th- we, we've got a $1.89 crush margin. That's huge. Now let's take corn. Corn, when you crush it to get ethanol, you have dried distiller grain, and the profitability there is huge also right now. A uh, new uh, contract high yesterday on the December 22 corn. I mean, yeah. I'm friendly to this, but I'm also friendly to the metals. So the opportunity is starting to knock. Hey, Rich, thanks for joining us, buddy. We'll have you on again soon. Rich Anderson, folks, Anderson Capital Management. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. 
His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, those of you that are driving around in your car, in the last 15 minutes, gold has given back $30 of the run that it had today. We had a high of 8.15. The 78% level was 18.13, and now we're trading at 18.7, excuse me, 17.74. So let's remind ourselves, a lot of volatility coming in here, folks, so don't be afraid of it. Just make sure that you use a stop when you're using some of these things as you're trading, okay? So let's move on to the next one here that someone had a question about. So give me one second, and I will bring up the chart to show you what he was asking. And the question was about, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Uh, natural gas. Here's the natural gas contract we've been watching very closely here. Every day we watch natural gas because it's one of the better things to trade. You'll notice here two things I want to point out in this chart, and then we'll move to the next one to answer the question the gentleman had. You can see we had the big butterfly top up there at 648. From there, we went from 648 all the way down to <laughs> to 640 so we dropped to twenty thousand dollars folks but that took a long time that took nine days okay then we've rallied back and you notice here we got as high as 535 today now i put that black line in there to answer the question the gentleman had this was uh, uh i think it's jeff in atlanta good luck tonight uh or friday uh in the game, whatever, whoever you like. Anyway, you'll notice here that we have that uptrending channel line, uh, downtrend, uh, uptrend, uptrend channel line is what I'm trying to say. You can see a little black line pointing up over the last. Uh, that's over the last four days of trading. Now, what I what I did do, and what I do each day, is when I'm watching patterns like that, I bring it up so that I can see it more clearly. And one of the ways to do that is to blow the chart up or move to a different time frame and take a look at what you're looking at. So if you're looking at this natural gas, there's the black line. You can see the black line. I didn't change that at all. All I did was I just put an hourly chart over that to just to see what it's doing. Now, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to realize that, gee, those little patterns have some, those little pyramids, uh, good from old, our good buddy Pythagoras, uh, those are ABCD patterns. That's really all they are. Hold on. I think we got a question in here. We have a, a question from Jeff in Philadelphia. Jeff, how are you? Uh, hi, Larry. Doing great. How are you? I'm good. What can I do for you, my friend? Um, I'm looking at uh, January soybeans back yes. to uh, I'm sorry, one second back to um, around May of uh, 2020. Uh, they had a low of 832 back then, and yes. uh, had a high uh, uh, this past like June around uh, 1479. Anyway, my question is I'm uh, currently short, and I'm looking for a target of a 50% retracement at around 1155. 
uh, okay. on that January contract, and I, I wanted to ask uh, your opinion on that. Well, I think you've got a pretty good chance at that. Let's just take a quick look at the January contract. You know, we were, we uh, we had a really nice loan in that. And then, of course, we had the short in it. So let's just get up here. We're going to look at it two ways, Jeff. First, we're going to look at it on the shorter time frame where we had the multiple. Let me draw them in again. We've done it so many times here on the air. I think everybody would be able to do these in your sleep here. But uh, didn't dry it. Ah, shucks. All right, I'm going to post it anyway because I just don't have time to redo the darn chart. But there's the three drive pattern we were looking at on the 15-minute chart. But if we go to the daily, uh, Jeff, it's it's you had a perfect place to sell this. I mean, this is why we we recommended the short up there at 12.58. It's because we were setting, as you can see here, right at a major downtrend line. That's a 135 pattern. We were setting at the 382 of the September high. It was a six-day move up to the 78% level. That was at ABCD on the way up. And if you measure just the structure on this, just let's just go to a uh, little bit longer-term daily here, and you'll be able to see what Jeff is talking about here because we would be looking at a very, very significant uh, ABCD pattern down here at the 1150 area. My goodness, Jeff, you must have learned something over all these years, buddy, because that, <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is the big uh, – you know, that's the big t target, that 1.618 expansion is 1140. And if we look at this on the weekly, because you don't want to forget this, like what Rich was saying, you know, we've had a hell of a move here in this stuff. You know, over the last year, you know, we've gone from, uh, like you said, 8 up to up to 14. But what we want to be watching is, uh, you know, the longer term picture. And that's where Rich comes in. And that takes us down to right at your 50 percent retracement level. So that's one of the things that I want to be able to do is to try to get us in some of these things. As we get there, but right now, you know, it's uh, it's got a downward bias at least till it gets to that uh, uh, 1150 area, which is the 50 percent retracement. Okay, excellent. Well, thanks for the confirmation. Appreciate it. Hope you uh, hope you get your voice well, back. Well, oh, it, I will. It's just the allergies, you know, and stuff. There's nothing else you can do about it. So we have such wonderful weather here now. It makes it really difficult to not have wonderful allergies because it's such a beautiful time to uh, look at some of these things. Anyway, thanks for calling in, Jeff. We really do appreciate you calling in. I appreciate your emails, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saying so. That, that's uh, oh. encouraging. Well, you're, you're, lear <laughs> you're, learning, right, uh, you're, learning, you're learning quickly, my friend. That's an important thing to do. Okay, now we'll move back to that natural gas. Uh, hold on. We're going to uh, have to change gears for just one second here. Someone else has asked another question, uh, and that is about the uh, – hold on just a second here. This is the uh, – NASDAQ today, I wanted to give you a, a show you what the NASDAQ has done as far as uh, the action that we had today. Remember now, the NASDAQ did not make new highs. Today. We made a marginal new high in the cash S&P and in the futures. And marginal, folks, I'm talking about less than $50. And that's in a contract that's worth uh, 75 grand. So don't, uh, oh, we're worth well over $220,000. Sorry. But uh, that was not much of a confirmation of a high. And the fact that it gave it up so quick, it gave up, it's already given up 35 handles and it's not even uh, halfway through the morning yet, let alone half through halfway through the day. So this is what we call bad uh, tape action is what you would want to refer to it as bad tape action. So there's one of the ones that we're watching. OK, the next one we want to look at here is the German DAX. You'll notice here uh, we get this in from our good friend, Mr. Tom Hugard. And uh, Tom will be doing a uh, day trading webinar with, with me uh, on the 10th of November. You can see we've been in a downtrend uh, ever since the middle of August. And uh, we had a big ABCD down there at the bottom. We had a huge rally, ABCD. Well, that ABCD is everywhere. Biddy Ray Valentine, Capricorn, ABCD. And you'll notice here we went up and tested this. And then, of course, we gave up the ghost uh, after that. Okay, Mr. Z says, love your fast market discussion. I don't know what fast market is, but this one's fast today. You know, the other thing, Z, and you and I have been through these many, many times before, but these people with Robin Hood and uh, Little John and all these other sites that they have, uh, Public is one of them, where you can buy the you know, buy 10 cents worth of uh, Amazon. They've not been in markets like this. And I think that uh, Mr. Market is about ready to 
call for a postgraduate degree in uh, volatility is what I think is going to happen. So be, be very careful out there, folks. This is not uh, – we live in interesting times, and that is a Chinese curse. It's not a blessing. It's a Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times. So we have to pretend that not, this does not happen. Join the den. That's a great place to learn something. 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the gold for our chart. You can see that 78% level up there at 1812. When we looked at this trade last night from the short side, let's get back to that hourly we were watching. I want to walk through this sequence because I've mentioned this several times. You'll notice here that we stopped right at that level. Look at the 78% level of 1793, okay? Like I showed you right here with that little red box. It stayed there for five hours, folks, five hours. And look what happened. It exploded up to the 78% level, which was 1813. The high was 1815, 15, uh, $2.50 higher. Now we're trading $30 lower at 1787 this is a function of the fact that there's no increase in open interest in these things folks every time the s p and some of these things goes up somebody hammers it and then what happens is and once there's no buying there the shorts are in control and boom down it comes so pay close attention these are not uh 
th this is not going to be easy for you, and you just, unless you understand how to trade some of this volatility. One of the key things to look for in that volatility, as we mentioned, and we were showing you the S&P when we had the 382 rally up there uh, right after the break. It, it, you know, I know it was only a very short time that it rallied only 20 minutes, but that's exactly what it was supposed to be doing. And, and when you see that, that's your first indication that it's not it. Yeah, trading is simple, but it's not easy, as Mark would say. Let's just go through right now, just to give you a, a, a heads up here. Now, we, we went from the high down to the low here, if this was a low 15, 16. Okay, the number you want to wait, watch for, boys and girls, if you want the uh, 10 cent worth of uh, advice here, and if you pay more than a dime, you've overpaid, take a look now uh, to keep a very, very close eye at. Uh, 15, uh, tw uh, excuse me, 4529 as Jack will answer. That'd be one thing. Watch 4529. Uh, That's a 382 rally back. Okay. So if we don't get above that, we're heading down. If we get above that, you know, mezzo, mezzo, we could go a little bit higher. Folks, live every day in an attitude of gratitude. May God bless. Live and make sure you take care of your neighbors the best you can because a lot of them are having a lot of problems. We'll see you on the flip side.